G'day, I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. Uh, in previous videos I've uh, talked about the way we keep our place fertile, that's using the chicken tractor, uh, but there is another way that we use that was featured in Gardening Australia with Costa about five years ago. Uh, and it's basically putting together an extractor that enables you to get all the goodies out of uh, comfrey or other things. We generally use it for comfrey in uh, the warmer months and uh, stingy nettle in the cooler months and that seems to work for us. Um, we get this uh, material at the bottom which we then dilute and put onto the veggies. So what I'd like to do today is show you how to make one. What we need is a metre tube of millimetres in diameter, a couple of end caps, one for each end, a little nozzle, a drill, about quarter inch, six millimetre is fine, a small amount of silicon, and a plastic bottle, which we'll fill with water and fill with sand and use that as the weight to, uh, to push the goodies out into the receiving bottle. So the first thing to do, grab yourself a pencil, and one of the end caps. So what we want to do is locate the nozzle roughly in the centre. That's a pen. I had a pencil. Alright. Can't find the pencil, let's try that again. Okay, back again. Let's give it another try. So you have your end cap, doesn't matter which one. Centralise the spout and then draw a circle using your pencil. And in there, what we want to do is that's where all the good stuff's going to come out, so we want to drill some holes. Again, doesn't matter how many, but probably, I don't know, somewhere between half a dozen and a dozen. Okay, I drilled eight holes and survived. So now what we want to do is secure the nozzle in place. To do that, I'm going to use some silicon that I've got floating around because silicon is always my friend. And as you can see, easy process, and I'm not making a mess at all, much. Just smooth it around, so make sure it's in contact with both surfaces and provides a good seal. And gets all over my thumb at the same time, you know. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll leave that there to go off and come back to it in a day or so. Okay, we're back. The, uh, the silicon has set off nicely. We've got holes, the stuff will drain. So this is the bottom of the, uh, the extractor. I've also drilled a hole in the top of the extractor to uh, put some rope through so we can let the weight down, um, which uh, pushes all of the goodies out of the plant material. But what we have to do, because this is going to take a fair bit of, uh, of pressure, is we're going to have to glue this. So you want to glue the bottom one, but not the top one. The top one has to be removable so you can uh, clean the system out. So I've got myself some, uh, some blue glue. Which comes with its handy dandy little brush. And then just making sure you make a hell of a mess everywhere. This stuff is full of solvent, so you've got to make sure you put the lid on, otherwise it goes all gucking. Okay, so there's a bit of weight. There's not a huge amount uh, on there, but it needs to be stuck so it won't come off. So that will we'll leave that to dry and move on to the next bit. Because what we want to do is we want to have a weight that goes down on top to 
um, express all of the goodies out of the plant material. And we're going to do that by putting a plastic bottle. And we're going to first fill it with coarse sand and then fill it with water, uh, which increases the amount of weight of this guy because it's a, a one and a half litre, I think. So if you um, fill it full of water, it's going to be one and a half kilo. If you uh, fill it full of sand and water, it's going to be, they'll add an extra kilo or a bit more to it. So it's just extra weight to, uh, to go on. So we get our coarse sand and pour it through nice and slowly so that it fills up the bottle. And you just continue that until the bottle is full. Okay, so we're now full of sand. It's just a case of topping it up with water. And because it takes a little bit of time for the water to percolate down and the air to bubble up, it may take a little bit. Of okay, time. now that we've got the bottle full of water and sand, and I really think that coarse sand is going to be the best way here. Um, otherwise you're going to have all sorts of trouble getting the water down in amongst the uh, interst interstices if you use uh, fine sand. Now it just needs to be assembled. So I've uh, put some string. This is just baler twine that I took off one of the bales of straw that we get in. Um, put that through the hole in the top. Tie that onto the top of the bottle so that you can retrieve it to clean it out because you're going to need to do that. And to assemble it, all you really need to do is uh, you can attach this to a, a fence uh, using these sorts of uh, brackets. Uh, down in there you've got the, uh, the holes for the, uh, the plant material to drain through, but one of the problems you can get is the plant material clogging those holes up. Um, so if you get one of these little stainless steel scourers and drop it in the bottom, that will keep those holes clear, keep the plant material out of them. Uh, all you then need to do is, assuming that you've got some plant material in here already, is to just let the bottle go down, pull your uh, twine up, and that's basically it. So that's attached to a fence, and, uh, and away you go. Nice and simple, you then need something at the bottom, like another bottle or a jar or something, uh, to catch the material as it goes through that you're going to be using as a uh, uh, for your fertilisation. So this is what it looks like in service. And as you can see down here, that's the material that you get out of it. So it's fairly concentrated. What you want to do is to dilute that back so it looks like about the colour of weak tea and uh, then you can put it onto your plants. Okay, so there you have it. Nice, easy to put together and you can uh, create your own fertiliser and keep things healthy. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you think it's worthwhile, please consider subscribing. Leave a like or a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, now that everybody else is, uh, has turned off, just like to have a quick chat with you one on one. I enjoy making these videos but sometimes it's hard to know what people like. So if you wouldn't mind putting a comment down below, letting me know the sorts of videos that you think um, you'd want me to be putting out. Thanks for that. See you in the next video.